how or who is a living witness then we end for the want of time whether you like it or not God exists in a class that is all by himself whether you like it or not One of the greatest definition of God is not because he can do many of the things that we can do. No. You know, the privilege that God has given unto us is that no matter how we try, he can only be able to come into agreement to be like him. But do you know that if I say this thing is like this, it doesn't mean that this thing is this thing. I get what I'm saying now. There is that ultimate characteristics of God that makes him who he is. One of that greatest characteristics is that God is holy. No matter how you do, you are holy, but not as holy as God. Even if you are holy, you add to God most holy. If you are most holy, you add to God most, most holy. If you think you are most, most holy, when you go back to heaven, you will now understand that everybody bow. You will bow too. You will now realize that there's another most, most, most holy. I know you are king upon the face of the but when you go, you realize that he is a king of kings. That's a lord of lords. I know you may be king of kings here. Yeah. When you go, there are king of king of kings. I get what I'm saying now. One of the caskets of God that he dwelt in the realm that is all by himself. He will never really need you, as you may think. God really needs you. But God can always replace you. No matter how you do, the creator can the creation can never be greater than the creator. It's an abuse of manufacturing. That anything manufactured should come to a point where it's as powerful as the manufacturer. If not, the earth will not survive. Do you realize that we keep the civilization upon the face of the earth? We didn't keep that of heaven. There is nothing right now that you do that supply energy and strength to heaven. It is from heaven that we receive supply upon the face of the earth for us to survive. If we take anything from here to heaven, it's so that from heaven we can be called upon to be given strength. There is nothing that you do from here that is taken to heaven to help heaven. Jesus Christ that took blood to heaven was because he was God. Himself could not have ever been able to do that if he was not, if he has not come under those weaknesses I told you. Because you are too corrupted. You are too sinful. It will require an incorruptible sin for that to be able to be achieved. I get what I'm saying now. So one of the greatest characteristics and the designation of God that you will always be able to continually grow upon is that holiness of God. How that he separated and dwelt in his own class. And that's what we call Agios. That's what many call Kadosh. Whether in the Greek, whether in the Hebrew, it doesn't matter. But there is something that God intends to do to mankind. Which was he give unto mankind his level of glory. He give unto mankind his level of holiness to ensure that man can partake of his own nature. To the degree to which you contain God, to that degree to which his holiness and his glory can be revealed in you. The Bible speaks about Jesus that he contained the entirety of God bodily. But we talk about we having God in measure. <laughs> and that is to let you understand that Jesus Christ is the only one that sustains that capacity to know all of God. But you, no matter how you thrive, according to the limitation of the witness upon the face of the earth, you may not be able to contain all sufficient enough. Only him is all-knowing. Only him is all-powerful. Only him can be everywhere. So anytime you discover that you know anything is because it's out of the bounty of his omnipotence, omniscience. It's out of the bounty of his omnipotence. That you either have a strength or you have a knowing 
or you have anything that you think you do. So to the degree to which you come to proximity with him, to that degree to which you partake of that nature that I said. When you see a man that is holy, it's because he has made contact enough with the holy God. When you see a man that knows much beyond what you can understand, because he has made contact enough to a God that knows. There is not too many mystery there. I will not begin to realize that in that characteristics of him is what makes men to become what I call living witness. A man is sufficient enough a living witness because he has contacted certain dimension of the characteristics of God that are only, only a portion unto God. And that is why many of them are referred to as great men upon the face of the earth. There is nothing great about them. The only thing great about them is that they have been by privilege of grace to be able to make contact to a certain level of this possibility that is only attributed to God in himself. So how do you now become a living witness? A living witness is one who has been authorized by heaven to represent the government of heaven upon the face of the earth effectively well. And this was made possible for him because he aligned himself to the witness of the earth and the witness of the heaven. The, the alignment that he has with the witness of the heavens grant unto him authority in what? In heaven first. The alignment he has with the witness of the earth grant unto him authority in what? In earth. The rule, man, the rule and the influence of mankind that is supposed to be a living witness supposed to be cosmic. The, 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 the rulership of a living witness is cosmic in nature that it has authority both in heaven and upon the face of the earth. If you are president of a nation that has authority only upon the face of the earth, like the organizer, that means Daniel that has authority both upon the face of the heaven and upon the face of the earth can beckon upon the witness of the heavens and they can one day decide that the greatest king that ever rules should go and eat grass for seven years and it will be law and binding. It was men that understand how much they need to be authorized by heaven. And not just to be authorized by earth, by earth and be put upon high places. It is good for you to be president of Nigeria, but you will fail us if you are not authorized by heaven. I let you to understand that as a witness of heaven. If you are not authorized by the witness of heaven, you will still fail us. Because the system of heaven will only be superior than the system upon the face of the earth. And one of the things that will grant to a man advantageous placement in the face of the earth and in the face of the heavens is simply because he has that cosmic government. When a man controls the influence of the heavens and controls the influence of the face of the earth, we call it cosmic. Because now, whatsoever he say here is binding there. Whatsoever he say there is binding here. So whether you start from here, you know, there is a realm that we may not be able to tell you. Do you know that Jesus may not tell me anything? I can come and say, by the reason of my placement there in heaven, let this one be put there and it will be done. And I can be in heaven and I'll say, okay, by the reason of me, I'm there. Let this be changed upon here, it will change. You see, things are manipulated from that realm. It's only people that have become living witness that can do that. Not just a witness. Anyone can testify of anything. A living witness is he that has an understanding of the realities that exist there. He's the one that can see within that vista and bring them upon the face of the earth. That the Bible says, as it is in heaven, so will it be what? One of the greatest challenges that God has is for men to be able to translate the substance of reality in heaven to the face of the earth. There is no problem there. Problem always exists here. The Bible says, God has blessed unto us which are blessed but in heavenly places. In Christ Jesus. We don't need it there. The blessings need to come upon the face of the earth. And one of the only ways we can be able to bring them to this realm of reality is by being a living witness. And how can you be effectively a living witness? Like I told you, you must align to the witness of the heavens and the witness upon the face of the earth. And until that alignment is done, forget about your life. It, was not, it will not have that cosmic government. We talk about the government of 24. How that 24? Speak about the government. Well, that's the government upon the face of the earth. No, sorry, 12 government, right? 12 is the number of government. As good as that may be, it's advantageous. But God does not rule by 12 government. No, God rules by 24 government. And that is why there are what we call 24 elders. These were men that have been given privilege by God to represent him upon the face of the heavens. When he came upon the face of the earth, he established 12 apostles. But they were not enough without the witness of the heavens, which were the 12th tribe of Israel. 
before the apostles were revealed upon the face of the earth that we are 12 tribes of Israel that we are prophetic throne that we are representing in heaven and they are still part of the, the new Jerusalem temple that need to be built the government of the new Jerusalem city that will come as a temple upon the face of the earth that mankind must dwell will come by the government of 24 not by the government of the 12 there must be the 12 foundation of the apostolic and the 12 foundation of the prophetic upon the face of the earth so when the apostles were ruling upon the face of the earth mind you everything they did was apostolic and prophetic where did they get the prophetic from it was the prophetic throne of david the prophetic throne that was upon the tribe that was apportioned unto jacob where we see look upon the vistas of heaven he said before i die let me create a placement in the spirit to ensure that jesus christ can come sufficiently well so he came and began to speak unto them to let them understand their definition and heritage of god that god was not, was not just playing chess with them establishing different tribes upon the face of the earth no his intention was to build a foundation in the heavens his intention was to build a gate and a city in heaven that each and every one of them can be able to give expression to the apostolic ministry of Jesus Christ upon the face of the earth. No wonder men and women we are structurally aligned well to become intercessors to ensure that they pray every day well for the fulfillment of anything that Jesus Christ had to be. That was men that aligned to the witnesses that were available as of them. So one of the easiest ways for you to become a living witness is when you can align to those governments. A man is good enough when he's filled with the Holy Spirit. A man is good enough when he believes in Jesus. A man is good enough when he's born of water, born of the blood. But you must understand that until all of them begin to work in your life, you'll be deficient as a believer. <coughs> Lastly, First John. Wow, you know I love John. Before, before first John 1 that I end with Act 1 8 is a cliche you have been quoting. And what they were trying to do in Act 1 8 was to quote what Jesus Christ told them before he left. He said that they should tarry. And when they tarry, they will receive power. After the Holy Spirit come upon them. Mind you, all through their life, they had had all witnesses. But they were not yet a living witness. Why? Because there was a deficiency of a witness of the heaven that was not upon them. And that deficiency was the deficiency of the witness of the Holy Spirit. And that was why as good as their life was, they still basleded even after Jesus Christ was done teaching them and crowning and ordaining them as apostles. What made them apostles was not because they stood with him, no. What made them apostles was simply because there was a witness that came upon them. That was why till today Judas is not an apostle. Matthias is in the new Jerusalem Judas name will not be remembered because he's not within the foundation his bishop has been taken away his apostolic man has been taken away because what came to confirm the completeness of them not just being good enough as apostles but perfect enough and complete enough as apostles was the last witness that he was supposed to come under before he killed himself if I was Judas I could have waited for Jesus Christ to resurrect receive the witness of the spirit then decide what would be my judgment as of that time, he may be able to survive. Because one thing that you must always understand is that do not pass a judgment when God has not passed upon you. So what they were supposed to do was to ensure that they came under the totality of those witnesses first. And after that is done upon them, no man can ever be able to resist them. So Jesus led them to understand that I know the reason why you bastard them, so you have to appear to them again. Say, go and tarry in Jerusalem until you are induced to power from on high. And he said, say, ye shall be my witness. But after the Holy Ghost come upon you. Now what will make you to become my witness is that you will receive power from on high. When the Holy Spirit come upon you and with the agency of the power that they receive, they cannot become witness. That's to let you understand that effectively witness enough is only done by the agency of power. And what he was trying to let them understand that they had power before, but what they didn't have now was actually authority. The legal bargain of the witness of the heavens to ensure that they do what they are supposed to do because before he left, they were casting out devils, my friends. Those guys casted out devils as you can never imagine. He sent them several times, they cast out devils, they did all the kind of thing. But they were doing that because there was a witness that was still upon them. Because Jesus Christ was carrying the Holy Spirit with them. And the Holy Spirit is more like a router. I Holy Spirit can be in me and I can come and I can give you his advantage. And that is why many of you can survive because your father is a prayer warrior. The day your father died, demons in your family begin to come. The truth is this, they were able to do many of those things because he was with them. But immediately when he left, he let them understand that the switching has to change. And now they must have to be able to sustain that router in themselves. If not, they cannot connect to 9G network. Where is my cousin? 
that the connectivity to heaven government is now deficient for them. They cannot be able to connect because the network is not available. Because now the network is not available. And now he has become a spirit of truth. And for them to be able to still partake and enjoy the authority given unto them again, they must have to be able to align to his spirit. And that was the witness that they were not actually aligned to. And that was the reason why all of them went backward, afishing. They went back afishing because they were not completed, although they were good. They were good enough apostles. But the problem was that they were not completed according to the witness of the heaven. So there was a deficiency that the witness of the spirit was not in them. Because even Jesus Christ himself said, I can do nothing. There was nothing he could do except by the agency of the Spirit of God. And that's let them know that them too can do nothing except by the agency of the Spirit of God. And immediately when he left, he brought them to the point to let them understand it's not by power, it's not by might, but by the supply of the Spirit of God. And immediately when they tell you, what happened to them was that that authorization came by the supply of the witness of the heavens. And when that came, you will never read again that they backslide. You only read that me and you are a continuation of the book of the Acts of the Apostles because it has never ended. Because till today, it's an open book that we are still writing. The reason why we are still writing it right now is because there are men that are aligned to the witness of the heavens and they are aligned to the witness of the earth. And to today, me and you are partake of it. But adventure, you find yourself backsliding every day and down. You are not different from the apostles of that time. It may be because there is a deficiency in your alignment to the witness of the heavens and the witness upon the face of the earth. You can return back. Don't go and kill yourself like all to Judas. He doesn't need you to kill yourself. If you kill yourself, your bishop will be taken away and be given to another person. And that person will be the one that will be recognized in the new Jerusalem because we will still be numbered. We will still be known in the new Jerusalem. But we don't know whether we will see you there because only the overcomers will be recognized there. It's they that overcome that will be given crown, that will be given placement. Many will inherit all kinds of crowns. But if you are not an overcomer, we will not know where you are because you will not be within the landscape. Immediately why he began speaking those things to them, the Bible said, they look upon him and suddenly he was taken unto heaven. They now begin to see other dimensions in keeping to the man that are now further aligned to every dimension of witnesses. The reason why you are limited is because you have not joined within the code of the witness. We end with first John. What are the characteristics of a witness? What will make you actually become a witness? I believe that to become a witness according to scripture, there are certain infallible proven characteristics and qualities that you must have. There are four infallible proven characteristics according to scripture. That is not my idea, that's scripture idea. And I will just read them and we pray. First John 1. Hope you are still understanding me. Okay, I told you that John is the greatest apostle that I've ever seen in keeping to bringing us to the understanding of the revelation of Jesus. And I believe that even Paul the apostle will have the privilege to read from the writings of John. This was the last understanding he brought unto them in keeping to becoming witness. For a man to be a sufficient witness enough for you to be able to go and stand and testify on behalf of a God. You see, you cannot speak about a God you don't know. Many of you have tried to speak about a God you don't encounter. Some people will send me a test, they will start asking me some questions. I say, where did they get that from? They say they were actually in the place, they were talking and somebody asked them the question and they cannot answer. The reason why you cannot answer the question is because you are not yet a witness enough. Go and tell the E until you are. I get what I'm saying now. If not one day you'll be flogged, you'll be beaten. And you may not survive. According to John, before you are a witness, before you start traveling, before you start calling yourself, what? Before you agree that you're a witness, before you go and boast to people that you know the Lord, drop your Bible school certificate first. Drop your school of ministry certificate first. And ask yourself this question as John asked. Because they were with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ ended his calling with them. I still they basslid there. There's every chance that you baslide. A pastor called me, say baslide. I say, sir, it's not new. I have had a lot of bishops baslide, not you. You have tried. You are even a pastor. The truth is this. It's not new word. But you, it can be new because it happens to you. When you see men that do not backslide in the journey of Christianity, it's because 
they have come to a point where they have understand this so let's read what john said then we share the grace he said that which was from the beginning you know he gave us understanding the book of john one he told about the beginning now he's writing again and letting us know that there's another beginning he said that which is from the beginning which we have heard which we have what seen with our eyes and which we have looked upon and what of the word of in that scripture i don't have to explain a lot by now you should understand what i'm trying to say according to john before you speak about the word of life which is christ jesus the first thing you must understand is this you must understand that somehow you must have heard about him somehow there was a truth that you have heard about the word of life as good as you hearing about it is not enough for you to begin to run away just as you have heard about it now my friend Kratos said a lot of things many of you copy revelation and you paste the problem of copy and paste is you may even copy my matric number and submit many people went to copy and paste and they copy matric number they even copy teacher you don't have sense People fail exams, but other people even fail correction. While we're in primary school, there's what they call correction. So if you can fail exam, but you are not supposed to fail correction. So we wait for correction, and our teacher was so benevolent enough, she marked correction for us too. So she deceived us. The real one she will record is the one that is the exam, 0 over 20. She will not do correction for we copy, she will not give us 20 over 20. I will come and show her parent that this is 20 over 20. We will not, we will clean that correction on top. But some people still fail correction. And when you fail correction, it's not because your teacher is wrong, it's because you are wrong. So a lot of people, I'm okay, I'm running up, please. A lot of people, the challenge is this, they have heard about it, and they begin to run with that which they have heard. They are the reason of the casualty we have in the body of Christ. So I say, devil, let's meet on the highway. You too, you want to travel, you say, devil, let's meet on the highway. You may die, because devil will wait for you in the highway. <laughs> Because I did not just heard about the words of life. I will take you further, you will understand. That Cretus, what did he even say that other time? That was a realm that you were talking about. There are certain things that you see a man speak about. You may hear from the babs or other men talk about potters and gate. You two, you went and talk about potters and gate. You may die a cheap death, my friend. They did not just heard about the word of life. He made us to understand that for you to become a living witness, you must go further. I know a woman that went to the court to went and testify against a man. She ended up being put in prison because she went with what she had. When they began to ask her questions tentatively, interrogatively, she became guilty as charged. And when you come like that, you become as a witness, you are now become guilty as charged. Nobody can bail you again. That's the challenge. You don't run with that which you had. No. He take you further. He said that which you have heard. Many of you, you have gone with them, say, then say. I hear say he sleep with that girl under that mango tree. Have you seen it? No, I hear him. Who tell you? You now realize that actually what you are running with is a rumor. I learned that World War II is World War II. They cannot articulately understand what causes World War II was because somebody said, I had that. They didn't see it. They just had it. Many of you have caused a lot of chaos. Many families have broken. Many things have happened to people because somebody had this. Somebody came to me and said, Philip, save us. I heard this about you. I said, who told you? He cannot even tell me who tell him. But he believed this so much. I had to be able to counter what he had. If I didn't counter, that's why he has gone with that mindset for a very long time. And that is enough for him to actually have a false witness against me. And do you know that, as he said, God may hold you accountable for that. Many of you have had a lot of them say, them say, have you seen it? For you to become a living witness, you must have what? Seen the word of life. Not just heard about the word of life. Because the word of life may be heard about. It was in heaven there. But it has to be come upon the face of the earth. And that was why God had to take all to himself the legal. To align the sun to the witness of the water. The witness of the blood. The wit all the witnesses, six of them, have to go to him. To ensure that you can what? See the word of life. Not just what? 
heard about it because they have heard about the word of life, it didn't profit them. They have to be able to see the word of life, but not just only seeing the word of life, you cannot just run with what you see. A lot of you see us do demons like this, demons go, and you want to run with what you have seen, and you went as source of skiver, and the demons slap you very well. I saw my pastors do many things many times when I was being mentored. I went and tried many of them, I went back with beatings. And I realized that they didn't just do what they did because they just see. John moved for that to let us understand that for you to become a living witness, you must move from the level of just hearing and seeing to what? He said, not only handling. He said, that is that which you have what? Look upon. To look upon is another state of just seeing. It's possible for you to see something from afar. To look upon is close examination. You know, people talk about the doubting Thomas, but the man is a very good man. He said, if I do not touch of you, if I do not handle you, I will not believe. It was a realm of conviction. Since from that day, Thomas did not doubt again. Thomas was the one that the Bible said he went to India. He went and conquered the region of India. If not because of Thomas, there wouldn't have been any Christianity in India. Today, there are many Christians in India. Thomas did a very great job. India is as big as Africa. How many people of you are in India? Thomas alone went there. Because the people that in India need to actually... They don't want to hear about a God. They have about three Sadducee virus came and let us understand that India have about 300 million girls. Those ones, you don't tell them about a God. No. They, you don't just bring it for them to see. Because there are every God. There are temples everywhere you move to. They have to look upon. So Thomas had to look upon. He check and see, are you still really the Christ? That far beyond just hearing and seeing, I have to be able to look upon to understand the modus operandi, how this thing works. I need to understand who is the Christ. I need to know what made you who you are. But looking upon was not enough for you to go and represent. He went further to let you understand the last protocol for representation. He said, you must have what? Handle it. And that you say that it's possible for you to look upon that which is not your own. This is my phone. I can decide to give my friend card. I said, look upon it while collecting the evening. It will be wrong of him to carry it and go to his girlfriend the evening and say, I just bought a new phone. You see, the problem is that when he is there, I will come and say, can you give me my phone? The problem with you is that you have moved with many revelations that is not your own. And the devil has knocked you in your head. And today, you are part of our prayer point. Many of you have called me and become casualty of warfare. Your life has been deprived of the part of what? Eternal life. He said, that which we have heard about the word of life, which we have seen about the word of life, which we have looked upon the word of life, which has been given unto us as custodians of the word of life. You must understand that this thing has levels sustainable enough for you to be able to become a living representative, even though you will die. The warfare you involved in Christianity will kill you if you are not a living witness. When you have gone through this process, you might have died going through the process. You will be willing to die. You may be sent to a region. You will remain there and die there. A pastor must remain run away. I know a man that told me that the Lord called him to go to Abuja. He was in one region in Abuja. After a while, he said the people there does not so see. They cannot survive. He moved inside into Metama. As I'm talking to you now, he said, people in Metama too do not recognize his calling. He moved to another region. You continue to move like that because you have not. You have not handled about the word of life. If you handle the word of life, no matter which bush you are, people will come and look for you. Why? Because according to the word of life, it has the ability to sustain you. It is what is called what? The word of what? Life. Anything that is life is living, my friends. The reason why the thing is running away from you is because the life is not in you. I get my point now. So you must wait sufficiently enough for the word of life to become your own. When it has become your own now, you can become a custodian and you can also what? Give life. Because the goal was not to create a living soul, but to create what? A life-giving spirit. That we have the ability to give life. Jesus speaking, said, the word I speak unto you, they are what? They are spirit and they are life. They are spirit, but they have the substance of reality to bring life unto you. And as we are talking to you right now, we are communicating to you what? Eternal life. This is what will ensure that in the new Jerusalem, your name will be factored within the foundation. And if you refuse to journey within the word of life, to encounter the word of life, to see him, to handle him, there will be a challenge because he will not become part of you. Can we pray one minute as the Lord and say, Father, help me. That far beyond just what I have heard, what I have seen, what I have looked upon, help me to what? Handle the word of life. A man that handles the word of life will not be limited. Your challenge will not be masturbation. Your challenge will not be pornography. Yes, there will be weakness in your flesh. But it will not be enough to stop you from journeying God. Because you are already in life, you can only continue to advance. Ask the Lord to help you, my friends. Ask the Lord to help you.
Ask the Lord to help you. Babalana Bakwaska Bali Alava Bana Baska Bali Alavaska. Babelina, Babelina, Babelina. Koye Belaina Kuba Zala Benates. Babalaba Bana Baska Bana Babala Babana Baska Baliata. The goal is not to be a pastor, no. The goal is not to be an apostle, forget about that one. The goal is not to be a bishop, no. The goal is to be a living witness. Can God send you to a region and leave you there? Can God trust you? Can He? Why are you a Christian? Why? I don't worship, I call you Christian. Jesus called you my sons, my witness. Christians is not good enough. It's not good enough to be a Christian, my friends. It's not good enough to just be a believer, no. Become a living witness.